and back we go with trying to do our thing out here and down there. So we have um, uh, annexed the earldom of Cromwell, um, which hopefully extends my reach down here, and so it does. So we could go take this here, and we definitely can. It costs us 38 of this and this would open us up to not only land here but also raid here so that's pretty damn good and we will definitely definitely do that we will put our flag over here in Cromwell uh, because that's where we have our stuff raise our troops which will take a little while So, now that we have our troops, we just go land here at Menorca. And we will eventually take over all these islands. I have a feeling that these are actually going to be halfway easy, including Venice. Because they're not all that strong at this point in time. Of course, our primary issues are in the north here, with those islands. Lots of alliances against us. Well, not necessarily against us, but just lots of alliances that we will have to contend with. Alba is quite strong. All these tribal rulers are fairly, fairly powerful. Who's leading? We are leading. Personally. As well, we should. Our glory is wildly known. Very good. Now, of course, I would love for the Onaga to be researched at some point, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Our head of stuff is interested in other thingies. What culture specific stuff do we get here? Nothing. My son. Look at my son. See Alliance Power. I chiefdom of Prussia. I have an idea where they are. No, that's good. But she is very old. Kiev. No, that's not Kiev. I just looked for something black. Kiev. Should this not be somewhere in Poland? My geography is uh, terrible, as you can tell. What do we have here? Sieland. Wow, Sieland. Oh my god, look at Sieland. I mean, I don't have any inclinations at going against them anytime soon. Where is Kiev? I do not see Kiev. Maybe they're part of something? See, where does it highlight? Oh, over there. Not bad. I think we'll take Sieland. Which one of these is the least terrible? Low. Lisping. We'll take the young Lisping one. <clears throat> Getting us yet another alliance up north. Doesn't help us against the Swedes, but against most anyone else. Let's see what we have here. Let's weigh the last. Yeah, shy, so that costs us. No. Another son of ours, and he will go. We need we need a more diversified group of people here. Yiland, Yiland should be thing. Uh, 
Ah, yeah. We'll definitely strengthen our ties with Yiland. We already have an alliance with them, I believe. Don't we? Yeah. Strengthening ties doesn't hurt. Oh, Frisia is big. What this, Frisia? What this? Ah, uh, we should probably put the siege leader in on one siege leader. Living off the land, yeah, that's what we're looking for. Supply capacity plus two hundred percent. Good God. It's a weird mix out of Scandinavian and throat singing from the steps, the music. But I like it, I must say, it's really nice. Bleeding on the prestige. There we go, that should give us some. Did. We may now disband all our troops. And we now have a foothold in the Mediterranean. So let's see. Should we just continue on our conquest? No, I think we shall go raid a little bit from here on out. So, we move... And we put a new flag down here, the green flag goes here. We'll raise our raiders. And we will also... Go on a hunt, if we can. No, we cannot because we're leading these troops. Let's switch them out real quick. But we are still stuck on this, so we might as well lead personally again. Action has been created against us. Who? You? Cousin. I have a daughter. Will be matrilineal, eh? How old are you? Five. Let's just extinguish the internal threat. Okay, these are not a lot, but that makes them cheap to maintain. Let's speed up a little bit. Okay, they did raise some troops. Let's go fight them personally. And get our living off the land perk. Increasing our raiding speed even further. Okay, so they got archers. Yeah, we got decent counters for all their stuff. Alright, where to go next? They have 2,000. I'm thinking Genoa, those republics here should be ripe. How much is Venice? Keep a little look around. Corsica, Corsica looks great. Look at that raiding speed. Child of our dynasty, we will take care of her immediately. And get to a matrilineal match. And we would like a Staru culture Norse. And let's see what we got for inheritable, nothing good. So age difference, let's go for five. 
Ah, uh, he's already over our dynasty, isn't he? Yeah, he is. Go for 10. Oh, wow, okay. That's alright then. I think those are all just our oh, retinues. Isn't it? Our oh, men at arms? Upgrade these a little bit. Get some more. What are we attacking here? Being strong. Money wise, we still have some base left for ourselves. Raid or trade? Let's see. As my troops and I prepare to sack the lands of Galura, our first scouts report back. It seems the local towns are rich, but many are heavily fortified, and we could well be caught out by vengeful armies before we can break the juiciest targets. All is not lost. The art of good raiding is all about exploiting opportunity, and we could perhaps arrange a trade tribute in exchange for staying our blades. Let's see. We get a truce with him, and we get 10 loot to our current army, but we spend prestige. We pillage and refuse to think about trading. <laughs> What kind of lily-livered feudal coward makes money without raiding? Yeah, that's that seems about right. Uh, sway pushing luck. Gain twenty opinion, op op opportunity opinion. What else do they have? Nothing. Right, then how much do we have? Something. Papacy is probably ripe. Let's go out here and check if the coast is clear. If you pardon my pun. So they, of course, are really quite strong. So sacking Ostia or even Rome will likely cause some sort of military reaction. I don't think we're looting. How we're looting. Yep. There's the papal army being raised. So instead... No. We need to run. Okay, well, we, we don't need to run, apparently. Apparently, we can just beat them. What the hell? Okay, that was insane. Let's check that out. So, our champions... ...completely slaughtered the enemy. All of our troops completely slaughtered the enemy. My goodness. That's insane. Uh, we cannot raid here, I'm afraid. Can we raid here? Um, I'm a little bit confused as to why we're not raiding. They're coming for us again. Right, man. Uh, oh, we're probably full, aren't we? Yeah. We have more gold than we can handle, so we bring it back home to Maloka. That's the little icon here telling us. We gain the trade Viking. 
And I am sure it's a good trade. Marshall plus two, prowess plus three, prestige. Oof. Very good. The terror from Bergen. For years I have swept out on devastating raids, bringing the full fury of Odin to a trembling world, for surely if he disapproved he would have struck me down by now. Instead my household sleeps surrounded by the stolen fineries of foreign rulers and exotic slaves warm my bed, truly noble and pleasant alike quail at my approach, and parents silence crying children with a threat that I will visit. Ha! Let them weep at my name. Okay, we have a huge amount of uh, of prestige now. Let's see. Ecstatic peasantry. The peasants in the chiefdom of here are in a good mood. The harvest has been bountiful. Uh, no, they need the surplus more than I do. And that is indeed so. Wow, okay, that's crazy. We'll stand on our troops for a moment. Check out this and pump these to full. Because we have the prestige to deal with it. Uh, now let's check. We will do a grand bolt, definitely. And we will invite every one in the kingdom. Uh, we go home. Oh, and build stuff. Can we build stuff? No, it's almost done building. Now we can build stuff. Can't build new holdings, sadly. One of our enemies has died. Ah, that's too much, but we could build some palisades, I think. No. It's okay. Principality of Mun. Well. Yeah, they bring more to bear than me, but that's okay. I think we should raid some more before we continue on our adventure here. Oh, we take this. Let's take this island. Huh? Fairly equal. Just take Venice. Conquer the duchy. Yeah, 1,419, we'll take Venice, that's good. We'll raise our whole army here. Another son of ours, oh. It's good with everything. So what shall we make him do, a diplomacy focus then? Chiefdom of Mary. No. I mean, he's okay. Enemy ally joins. Ah, okay, now he just had a bit of a moment there. So we'll sail down here, make sure that we don't run into anything unforeseen. Oh no! The bolt was cancelled because we went to war. I will not get carpets. People are trying to kill us. Okay. Let's see who we put in charge here. Reckless. Enemy fatal casualties. 
a folder. What if we lead ourselves? That's fine, we'll lead ourselves. They certainly have the advantage. Though so our Bondi go crazy. You can see that the highlight for Bondi is supposed to be the um, these here. Or these, I'm not entirely sure, but it's not this symbol. Strategical impasse. I know how we can employ both strategies. Yes, I know that indeed. Very good. So this will take some time given we have no siege weapons whatsoever, but we have entirely destroyed their army. So now we put in a siege master to decrease the time between siege phases. Oh, organized march movement speed, heavy infantry screen, tentron, and at arms counter efficiency plus twenty five percent. Good, goodness. Task aborted, so you have finished the conversion, or rather it has converted all by itself. Thing to convert down here, let's convert down here. Get some Astari going. We are to inherit a bunch of titles indeed. Check what we got here. You are definitely forced. You are forced. You, I will recruit and force. Okay, yeah, the sieges are going to take forever. White piece? I think not. How can they even offer it to me at this stage in the war? Well, I'm coming for all of you, don't you worry. Sooner or later. Right. Almost done here. Come on, finish it up. There we go. And now we can... Off. Hopefully they... Yeah, we'll catch them out. And we will have our uncle lead. Is all kinds of perfect. And the Venetians will beat once more. But I feel like they're going to go and try and retake this. The hardest part of ruling. We will be daydreaming about strategy. Now the question is, do I trust my uncle to finish this quicker than they will? I kind of do. Should we move our capital here?
Right. Okay, let's check. I think we... No, we don't have a duchy title. We just took the whole duchy in a conquest. Uh... <laughs> I want this, please, thank you. Public. Re enable next month. Re -enable. Mm -hmm. Like to spread our culture, shall we? Spread our culture down here. Mm -hmm. What to do? Let's see who. It's what in succession. You get the kingdom of Anastarnid. Okay, we're going to do this thing. Adopt special succession type. Okay. Scandinavian elective. Vassals wearing title allegiance opinion plus five. The ruler and all the jour vassals can nominate a title heir amongst the extended family and available claimants. Voting power in this succession law is influenced by the elective's total domain development and capital popular opinion. Um, The ruler and all de jure vassals, except for barons, can nominate a title heir amongst the ruler's extended family and any available clamants. Voting power in this succession law is influenced by the electors. Yeah, we'll take it and we'll check it out. Okay, let's check our succession laws real quick. How this looks. How do we have a confederate petition still? Me? My son. My oldest son. Well, let's check through them. Maybe we have someone who's halfway good. Not the diplomat. We'll nominate Bjorn. Ah, uh, I don't see my son Bjorn. Where is my son? There he is. Okay. Why is there still confederate partition? That makes no sense. This should vanish. Uh, I am deeply confused, as you can tell. What do we need? Three or more kingdom titles. We need three or more kingdom titles. The Kingdom of Venice. Um, is Sardinia potentially a kingdom? Yes. This here is potentially a kingdom. Kingdom of Valencia. We're looking for small kingdoms. We could. Ah, Crete. We can form an empire before any of this breaks apart because apparently the whole selection election thing isn't working as. As I would like. So let's take um, Corsica.
Uh, I don't care. Okay, we need to get our domain limit down anyway. That's not good. Either way we look at it. Okay, only this title has its own succession. You get Venetia. And you get this. Just so we get out of the domain limit issue. Our concubine is pregnant once more. You hate our guts so much. Convert. Accept our ways. Okay, she gets a wee cook on us. Fine. So off to murdering we go. Hit and run. Another son of ours, very good. He will be that. And we will want to well, new son, Knutter. Looking for the age zero. Okay, Scandinavian elective might work pretty well because um, we don't have a lot of de jour vassals, to be quite honest. If we check them, we will see some negative modifiers. Really? Not rightful liege. Not rightful liege. Not rightful liege. Not rightful liege. All these are good. I'm not going to integrate any titles. Are there mercenaries with stuff? They continue to harass us. How long? 22 months. Oh yes, baby. Here we go. Army loot capacity plus 50%. Defend advantage plus 5. Max size of heavy infantry regiments plus 2. Yes, we'll take that. And we only have one of those. But we will... Uh, no, that's too expensive. Studied an old battle. We must gain stress or give up. We will try and continue here. We'll push forward, gaining a lot of stress because we are impatient. But at the same time, we could call a hunt, losing us some stress.
Our queen... I don't need the money. Our queen can be happy. And we return home reinvigorated and now we hold the feast. Another son. Would you look at that? And he will be what will he be? Another steward. So our succession law change didn't really help us at all. Honestly. And this annoys me that this doesn't actually get reflected here. Let's see. I need to talk to you in private. We get a weak hook on her. Spend a lot of that. Yeah. Our sister, the covetous antagonist. Ooh. We have to make them shield maidens? Want to make you a shield maiden? Okay. Um, <laughs> the election. These are the votes, I suppose they have. Vote. Okay, hooks would be useful here. Our cousin is very... It will be fine. We're still quite young. Am I trying to kill her? Oh right, because she has a hook on us. We don't like people having hooks on us. Let's speed this up a little bit because they don't have any military forces to contend with us anyway. Can we? Let's do it. We'll create Duchy of Venice, 125 gold. We'll create the Yaldum of Venice, 250 gold. Now we can adopt a special succession type there as well. Scandinavian elective. And... Oh. The fact that I cannot sort this just Look, they found some troops still. They try and prevent the inevitable. Come on, let's catch someone good in this siege, please. Oh, very good. Alright, disband. Now we put our green flag down here. Raise the local raiders. Because we need prestige and gold. We are once more above our domain limit, so 
We shall check our succession laws, see who gets what. This and oops. this all of these have implicit claims stuff. Good, our raiders are ready. Go. Okay, we start with 921. On slaves. Are we leading? Yes, we are leading. Hey, she rest in peace in that our uncle maybe he should work on increasing control being as good as he is Alright, off to Rome we go once more. It will likely fight us, but as history has shown, we should be fine. Yeah, looks like we should be fine once more. Advantage is fully on our side. And we destroyed that army. Oh my god, we absolutely wiped them out. That is insane. Okay, can we raid Rome? No, we cannot ra raid Rome directly. Oh, she's great. Intrigue, focus. Do you get someone with inheritable traits? Definitely. Oh, you would. Good. 58. Mm. Then 40 something. Not ideal. Well then, we go that way. We have discovered moths, which gives us what in our culture? Unlocks tribal area fortification buildings. Get something new to build. Yeah, we can upgrade our palisades. Which we will definitely immediately do. Look at that. We almost got a thousand prestige from raiding so far and we haven't even returned home. Okay, these are trying their luck at fighting us off. Wait for them to come. Oh, uh, we're raiding the Byzantines right now, I didn't notice.
we need to be a little bit careful. They might actually be able to send something to deal with us. We're just raiding down the coast. Getting what we can. Okay, uh, let's bring it back. And watch this jump. Uh, a cynical bent. Upon returning from a successful raid, every good Norseman knows to sacrifice a little of their gains to the gods. Every good Norse except for Omer, that is. As the rest of us divide the spoils, boasting of our best peace and discussing which will give in thanks for good fortune and fair winds, I notice that he remains silent. Upon confronting the man, he even admits it. I saw no hand of the gods in our raid, my king. Only my own hands, doing my own work. My share is for me. Blasphemy. Good idea. Eh, not my business. Blasphemy. The gods have been good to us. Okay. What rebellion are we looking at? Peasants. Peasants up here. I'm thinking someone wants to inherit this anyway, isn't that so? Oh, we have no title loss on the succession right now. Think. Four thousand seven hundred something costs us a thousand to invade this kingdom, but it would be all at once. The best we do that. I just kind of want an empire title. Uh, right now we are fine in terms of succession, but things might change, so I'm not super sure. Right. Okay. Uh, we'll leave it off here. Uh, thank you very much for watching so far. See you all next time. Until then, bye-bye.